where we may proceed to the last uh, in-person speaker, so Professor Fagard. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, put it in your pocket. Yes. Hello. Uh, so um, I, I will uh, discuss personal memories, knowing George for 43 years in conferences elsewhere, and uh, more important memories of other common friends that I will uh, that I will show. So, as uh, one of the previous speakers, I first met George in St. Andrews in uh, 1980. Uh, I don't remember you playing golf uh, there, but uh, <laughs> it was a country of, uh, of golf. Uh, I have a photograph uh, of this conference, you know, it's a Scottish style school. It's very, very well organized. All people uh, sit together. You know, we understand uh, how George has learned to build Corfu. <laughs> and uh, obviously, you recognize George. You recognize several people, which cannot be here in person, which would send me some mail. Jean-Marc Gérard, Jan Govertz, and Costas Kunas. Costas Vacas, sorry, and uh, so uh, a mail from Jean-Marc, who made uh, three papers with George, uh, let's say, a few years ago. Um, Dear George, enjoy freedom from duties. 40 years after our super collaboration, I wish you all the best, Jean-Marc. I have a message from uh, Jan. Uh, Jan was with George and me in St. Andrews and in Les Ouches, which people have talked much more, and two memorable schools. And uh, he remembers something which, in fact, I did not remember, is that you announced to all the participants that uh, you will invite uh, everybody to the Corfu summer school that you probably had in mind to, uh, to do. Uh, <clears throat> Obviously, Jan was a little bit circumspect uh, when you say this, but uh, indeed it happened. And it seems he went to the, in 1985, to the second uh, elementary particle physics uh, school in Corfu for a very memorable summer school. And uh, even if uh, he never met you, uh, he, he followed, like I think everybody in high energy physics followed uh, what you have done. And he congratulates you for many past achievements and uh, all uh, his best wishes. My last comment from this uh, from this uh, conference is from uh, Costas. Uh, uh, if I understand correctly, Costas knows you for fifty years. He met you in London uh, yeah, fifty years ago when he was. Uh, you told me when he was eighteen uh, in the uh, you. 
he looked like 12. And uh, uh, there's a general comment uh, for you is that you have not changed much. Everybody told me this, uh, the trademark air and the bird. Uh, in fact, uh, it's probably a thing which is common to the Costas kids. <laughs> uh, his kids also used to call you agreed. So it's probably there is some uh, something here. And uh, I will read what he says with uh, your unique style, uh, warm, loyal, sometimes chaotic. No, it's not very often. It's sometimes chaotic, always with intention. You devoted your uh, huge amounts of energy to building the Polytechnio uh, group and uh, the Summer Institute in Corfu. Uh, Costas was one of the oldest participants, and he, he, he was at times skeptical about the chances of survival of this institute with its loose structure, and fluctuating resources, and little selection or thematic focus. But as he said, you have proved him wrong. You are proving wrong. Corfu stayed on the map despite the odds as a sort of perpetual woodstock of physics. Uh, I, I think it's, a, for me, it's a really a good compliment. It's a really a good compliment. People keep coming back, even if they need to finance their trip, because they know that they will be exposed to many nice and sometimes great talks, to inspiring discussion in a marvelous venue. And like Woodstock, it all, all looks spontaneous, but we know that behind this uh, full spontaneity, there is uh, the strong work of you and uh, and your colleagues. In fact, uh, when he sent me this uh, two days ago, I thought to this uh, to this Woodstock uh, comparison, uh, and in fact, uh, someone told me that Jimi Hendrix, which is uh, Let's say the hero of Woodstock. Uh, I don't know if it's true what I will say, but some Greeks told, told me that he learned a little bit uh, some uh, guitar by listening to Manolis Iotis when uh, Iotis was uh, playing in uh, in New York. So there's maybe some uh, Greek connection. Many thank George for your perseverance and resourcefulness that have made this the work of your life possible, and also for your loyal friendship all these years. Three time months is just a change of coordinates. I'm sure you're selling past it smoothly, and I hope to see you in many more summer schools in the coming year. I think this last sentence is a joke because I think it's coming in, uh, in 10 days from now. So it's, you will clearly see you. You will clearly see you. Uh, so uh, uh, one year after, well, St. Andrews was two weeks, Lesus was six weeks. During six weeks, we happened to to um, to meet uh, much more, and uh, you see the French style school. Even if it's French, it looks less Cartesian than uh, than uh, Saint Andrews. Uh, the organization, uh, you know, the photograph is. Uh, I think it has already been shown. I will see one sees you, and this is another photograph which was not shown before which was given to me by Patty McBride, which is the, the current spokesperson of uh, CMS, where you see Patty, and you see, uh, uh, you see John Bagger, which was the former um, boss of uh, Triumph, and you will see, you see George. And I have a comment by John. He has two vivid memories of, uh, of um, Les Ouches. Uh, then I will not repeat the first one, but the second one is George dancing on the tables at one of the parties. He seemed larger than life, like Zorba. And of course, nothing in the intervening years has changed that first impression. So at your party, help George onto the table. Well, yesterday you didn't go on the table huh? <laughs> and catch him if he falls off and have plenty of food and wine and corporate hospitality. I wish I could be there in person, but know that I am there celebrating with you in spirit. In fact, uh, like uh, Belen, uh, nobody has found the photograph of you on the table at Les Ouches. But uh, probably there is someone, some place uh, we are waiting. Uh... What? Yes. Uh, he, he, 
in fact, since you were uh, at Lesus, I take the opportunity. I think everybody knows this quotation of Newton. Uh, I have seen further. It is because I'm uh, standing on the shoulder of giants. And it's true that uh, the organization of, of Corfu is, uh, is very good. But in some sense, Lesus is a grand, grand father of, uh, of Corfu because um, Lesus, which was founded in 1951 by uh, French physicist inspired Cardez, and Cardez inspired Morion, and in a way Morion uh, inspired a little bit uh, Corfu. So, so there is what a little, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I will. I will say say few things. Uh, few things after. I have another photograph. This also is the first time uh, uh, this photograph is shown, uh, which. Uh, I think probably you, you, you replaced Ouzo by, um, by Chartreuse at this time. I don't know. And, uh, uh, by, uh, the, this comment is by a person which is at your right. We met at Lesus in 1981. It appears that contrary to some of us, in fact, to most of us, you have not changed much in the later 40 years. Poof is a picture on the page 155 of the proceedings which is here. What are you thinking about? Uh, this was already shown, but I'll show it again. What are you thinking about so deeply or in horizontal interactions or even more profound ideas or more prosaic thoughts about the meal? I don't know. Eh? Maybe you will, uh, you will finally, 42 years ago, tell us what you were thinking. Anyway, wish you all the best for the coming 40 years on the sideline or on the playing field of physics. Cheers, Franz. Now, I will discuss uh, uh, a little bit about Morion. Uh, you've been several times in Morion between 1984 and 1987, which, which is already uh, a lot. It is less than several people, than other persons. I've been in Morion much, much more often uh, uh, than you. And I have a comment by Van which sent me, uh, sent me this comment. Dear George, time flies too quickly. I'm surprised when I was told that uh, there's your retirement celebration in Corfu. I always remember the George who came to Morion in the 80s and who was a driving force at Morion, which had the honor of your participation from 84 to 97. You have an unparalleled dynamism, both in scientific discussions as well as in the animation of life at Morion. I still remember your attempts to teach me the Greek dance, unfortunately, without much success, because I did not have your flexibility. Also, I don't have any proof of this sentence. This, uh, I greatly admire what you have created in Corfu, which is ju in just a few decades has become the summer rendezvous for, re for European physics. I wish you a very beautiful celebration and above all, a brilliant future for the beautiful center of Corfu with my faithful friendship. Van. So, like in Morion, uh, one of the aim of uh, Corfu and the conference is to put people together. So, one achievement was to put Jean-Marie Frère and uh, Guido in the same conference, which uh, already is an achievement. And even yesterday, at the same table. So that's uh, only for this, we should congratulate you. Now, I will just uh, discuss a little bit uh, Orsay and, uh, and, and friends. Obviously, uh, you worked with the theory group, John Mader and company, but there are also uh, permanent positions which were given to some of your protégés. So uh, uh, you see Dimitris and, uh, and Andreas. So in fact, you are... Uh, you are, you are part of France in a way. It's not only because uh, here it's called Mont Repos. It's, <laughs> and uh, now, you see, I showed the Scottish school very well organized. You go to the south, the French school, it's a little bit uh, less, more chaotic. You can go even more to the south, to Corfu. And you find this, <laughs> which is, uh, which is, uh, which is, uh, 
which probably is better in a way. It probably is better in a way. Also, someone uh, sent me a more uh, strict photograph of, uh, of Corfu in 1985. So finally, I will make uh, comments of the few friends, a few common friends that uh, cannot come and which sent me some, uh, some uh, mail, mail by Neville. I'm so very, this is a photograph of Neville at Corfu. I'm very sorry and disappointed that I'm unable to make your fest. Never has a fest been more richly deserved. You have made outstanding contribution to particle physics over the many years of your distinguished career. Your infectious enthusiasm for organizing and developing the Corfu Institute that it is today. And the attention you always pay to creating opportunities for young people, it has been said previously, but uh, I stress it again, means that the community owes you a huge debt of gratitude. George, have a fantastic day. Sorry again that I can't be there. And may you continue to do research in your retirement, whatever form that might take for many years to come. Best wishes, Neville. A comment by Pierre. Uh, it has been a great honor and a great pleasure to meet you in NC and to collaborate with you in, in our Erasmus Mundus Master Project. I hope uh, it has been as funny for you than for me. I just regret that we have not collaborated together on a research project. But as you will know, retirement is the beginning of life and you will now have plenty of time to redo what you like. Have a nice celebration and see you soon, Pierre. A comment by Sven. Uh, he sent me uh, a few hours ago this uh, this transparency. Uh, uh, he is one of your uh, most uh, important collaborators. Stories for not being there, there but uh, uh, this is how we know you and is how we like you. Uh, happy uh, happy anniversary uh, and and for many years together. And this is my, the last comment by Monica. Dear, uh, dear George, it's really a pity that I can not be at the beautiful Moropo. Please know that I'm with you in my heart and mind. But George, are you really retiring? I think she knows the answer. I'm sure that you will continue to do and enjoy physics and to organize the Summer Institute, which has become an established institution under your leadership. I have so fond memories of Corfu, a place where both Guido and I have, have always loved to go. George, thanks for your friendship. It's my hope that we will uh, have many more years of friendship and collaboration, Monica. And finally, thank you, George. So thank you very much. And now we will proceed with online uh, talk. Can you stop sharing? Yeah. Wait, can you stop sharing? So, Professor Askeri, can you hear us? You need to unmute your microphone. Yes, I'm here and I'm, uh, I can hear you. Yes. Very good. Very good. So the floor is yours. So let me see. Yes. Can I, can I share the screen? Do you see my screen? Yes, yes. Yes, so let me start with uh, thanking for uh, being part of this uh, uh, day celebrating uh, George. And uh, hello, George. I'm very uh, pleased to participate and uh, I'm sorry I cannot be there. I'm uh, 15 hours uh, away in, uh, in Mexico, actually a place uh, you have been uh, traveling and having uh, uh, collaborations. 
so um, I've decided uh, to simply uh, speak about some personal recollections uh, I had uh, with George. Uh, so physics and actually all the rest that was uh, actually quite important. And uh, so let me let me start uh, just uh, briefly recalling uh, how I met George. Well, I first met him uh, 22 years ago, maybe even 23 years ago. I was in Munich at uh, Julius Vess uh, group. And, uh, and there, George and uh, John Mador were uh, regular visitors. Uh, I, I was interested in a geometric approach to gravity and gauge theories, indeed. Uh, I was uh, I graduated with Leonardo Castellani in Torino, in Torino, where the geometric approach to gravity and supergravity was pursued, uh, following the school of uh, Tullio Regge. And, uh, and George was uh, an expert uh, of uh, dimensional reduction, so it was very natural to talk to him. Now, those days uh, in the early 2000, uh, non-commutative geometry was really booming. Let me contextualize uh, the, uh, the, the, the non-commutative geometry uh, studies in, in those days. So we, uh, we were coming from uh, uh, the late 80s, where there have been discovered new uh, symmetries uh, underlying physical systems, uh, these were called uh, quantum groups, non-commutative groups, uh, work by Dreamfeld, by Jimbo, by Fadev, Reshetekin, and Taktajan. And uh, uh, at the same time, non-commutative geometry, meaning non-commutative differential geometry, was being uh, pursued. Uh, there was the French school uh, started uh, with the approach of Alain Conn, but then there was also the method of uh, the fuzzy geometry by John Mador. There was the differential geometry of uh, Dubois Violet and Voronovic, uh, especially these last on quantum groups. So there was a lot of activity, both in the mathematical and in the physical um, uh, communities. And then uh, immediately afterwards, in the early 2000, uh, non-commutativity of space-time emerged in gauge theory. And this was a, a quite, a, a, quite a revolution, uh, the point being that it first emerged in uh, string theory, and uh, uh, then it was realized that this uh, uh, string theory uh, T-duality uh, in the case of uh, the realization of uh, string theory using low energy effective uh, field theory um, geometric description, well, once you implement T-duality in uh, this uh, effective uh, open strings uh, um, gauge theories, you have to go to non-commutative space-times. So it was really forced on the idea of uh, T-duality symmetry, so of dualities in, in string theory, to go to non-commutative gauge theories. Well, it is in this context that uh, I, uh, scientific context, that uh, I met uh, George, in, uh, indeed in Munich. And uh, he came to me, I was a quite young uh, researcher, and mm, suggesting a collaboration that actually took place with him and John Mador discussing uh, these uh, uh, non-commutative gauge theories where there is an extra uh, dimension and the extra dimension is fuzzy, that is, is finite dimension. And of course, uh, John Mador is, was an expert uh, of fuzzy coset spaces, so it was a perfect uh, teaming up uh, to uh, work on, on this topic. And, and that's, I must say, is thanks to George, he had the idea of putting together this uh, team of people, uh, a young uh, student of his, uh, me, uh, John, John and uh, himself. And that uh, led to a series of papers uh, that had uh, a follow-up and later on uh, were uh, um, 
also Harold Steinack uh, joined uh, this uh, um, research uh, uh, direction. So um, what I really like uh, and recall with much uh, um, uh, warmth and appreciation is uh, the fact that uh, George was very uh, pushy, uh, pushing me in uh, to work in this direction. The discussions were very, uh, very warm, very, very intense. And also, I must say that uh, back uh, in uh, those early years of my career, uh, George was very helpful because it, it built my it was very helpful in building up my self-confidence as a scientist. And this, I, I, I really want to thank him for, for such a, a, a collaboration that was also helping me uh, growing up uh, as a scientist uh, with uh, more uh, technological uh, and technical uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, technical uh, um, expertise, but also uh, as a person with more uh, self-confidence. Now, uh, uh, this uh, I'm speaking of uh, uh, is work uh, that goes back uh, to 20, 17 years ago. But uh, since then, we've always been keeping up uh, discussing physics and collaborations. So what I really like uh, about uh, this uh, uh, having met uh, George and, and our, our uh, friendship is that uh, we, even though we have not yet uh, again collaborated on a specific paper, we've always been in touch discussing scientifically, um, exchanging, uh, really helping one another in uh, uh, understanding what was, uh, which scientific direction to take. And so this uh, I like is an ongoing continuative uh, reciprocal uh, discussion and, and help in uh, devising new uh, paper, new research subject. Finally, of course, uh, I would like to thank uh, George for all these years where we have been also collaborating on more general, uh, uh, like let's say scientific directions in uh, different uh, cost uh, actions, for example. So it's a, a more general way of uh, working with him, not on a very specific paper, but on some, uh, uh, let's say, networking uh, that definitely includes uh, the Corfu meetings that promotes a very specific uh, research direction in which I and George have always been uh, uh, very confident and uh, invested uh, much time. So for all this, I would like really to thank you, George, for all uh, these years of uh, friendship and encouragement. And uh, let's continue like this. Thank you very much, George. Thank you very much, Professor SK. Yes. Yes, Pat is not here, so <laughs> now it's time for George. So. Who, who wants to answer? Okay, so. Yeah, it's enough. I want to dance. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for all of these nice words uh, we heard about me. Uh, clearly, they were very touching. That's uh, uh, out of discussion. Uh, you can imagine that uh, I felt very deeply what you said. I should say that it's the first time that I hear so many uh, nice things, words uh, uh, about me. The only occasion that I felt, uh, you know, the support of uh, uh, our community and more general community, community is uh, when I was uh, punished with uh, uh, four months uh, imprisonment, as you remember, a few years ago. And then I saw a huge support 
from all of you, of course, and uh, many more that were here. Uh, but uh, then you think that uh, this comes only be because of the unfair judgment and things like that. Uh, so uh, this is what I said to my friend uh, uh, Rosa, but she told me that now is, uh, you know, it's a real thing because of these people. Maybe these people uh, thought that it was unfair, the treatment, but now all of you have said uh, all these things as uh, the achievement of uh, uh, all my life. <laughs> so, uh, Concerning what uh, our friends uh, Belen and uh, Luis uh, uh, said, it is true that uh, there were few schools that inspired me a lot. In particular, it was Lesus, uh, not so much St. Andrews, but it was more uh, Lesus, where we had a huge activity, six weeks was really. Uh, by the way, uh, the fact that I was the party organizer gave me the opportunity to have a free license to go. Nobody else could go for a second time to Lesus apart from me, uh, that I could go any time. Of course, I did not go. <laughs> Six weeks there. Was... Anyway, and we had only one record, by the way. Eh? Only one, you remember, one record. So all the rest. But it's a pity you didn't see uh, uh, me dancing on the. I, I'm sure there are photos. Also, uh, we used to put the the tapes on fire at the end of the. Anyway, so but I was uh, at that time I was a frequent, uh, you know, student student. Although I was uh, a doctor <laughs> with uh, was postdoc. Uh, I used to go to all the schools at the time, starting from Zikikis in Erice, and then to St. Andrews and Carces. Carces was just before uh, uh, Lesus and so on. So all of these schools were supported by NATO. So I said, what is the hell? I mean, we cannot have science without NATO. So this was the first thing let's do a school without this bloody NATO, right? <laughs> so, okay, and uh, as uh, Jan Goebbels uh, reminded me, uh, already uh, in 2001 in uh, Lesus came the idea, started to mature the idea that uh, we should have something. And I promised to everybody, look, next year or two years or something, we'll come to Corfu and you are all invited and so on. This is what he mentioned, right? So uh, this is how it started. But it was very, very impressive what we did actually in Lesus. Other people were saying, in particular, Belen. Not only we had excellent lectures, we had all this uh, nice atmosphere and so on, but then we took initiatives and we had workshops ourselves. I don't know how many workshops I, initiated and organized uh, in these six weeks. So this is how uh, it started. In any case, uh, well, you said many nice things and so on. And uh, uh, you all almost mentioned about the next uh, plan. So the only, anyway, not the only, but the main reason that I accepted eventually to have this honorary <laughs> day uh, was to give uh, uh, an opportunity or a, a start, a new start for the next project. So from this point of view, anyway, of course, I could not refuse after a point. Uh, I would like to ask you to keep close to the next uh, uh, plan, really, uh, to have the buildings to host you here, to uh, do original uh, work, scientific work here, I think will be a huge uh, step forward. And uh, I would like uh, to join us again in this uh, effort. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.